the Supreme Court has ruled to end race-conscious admissions, a decision expected to drastically alter college admissions. Changes could include more emphasis on personal essays, the abandonment of SAT, ACT requirements, the potential end to preferences for children of alumni, donors and faculty, and increased use of adversity indexes. Universities are also anticipated to enhance their recruitment efforts. Contemporary shifts in attitudes towards same-sex marriage among conservative Christians in the U.S. are highlighted in this piece. The once-heated issue of gay marriage has been partially replaced by gender matters, seeing increasing acceptance of same-sex marriage, particularly among younger evangelicals. However, some conservative factions still oppose these changes. The Supreme Court is set to consider a major gun case regarding whether the government can forbid people with domestic violence restraining orders from possessing firearms. The outcome could significantly define the scope of the Second Amendment after recent expansion of public gun rights. The Supreme Court has rejected President Biden's student debt relief plan, causing a major disappointment to many of his supporters. The plan, which aimed to forgive up to $20,000 in federal student loan debt, has been declared beyond the president's authority, prompting the search for alternate solutions. Leading Republican presidential candidates including Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis rallied at a Philadelphia event hosted by conservative group Moms for Liberty. DeSantis emphasized his legislative successes in Florida related to race and LGBTQ discussions in schools, while other candidates highlighted their stands on social issues. The group, which focuses on children's issues, has a notable influence on the conservative landscape. The Supreme Court has rejected President Biden's student loan forgiveness plan, sparking approval from Republican presidential candidates including former Vice President Mike Pence, Senator Tim Scott, and Nikki Haley. They praised the decision and voiced their concerns about the legality and fairness of the proposed plan. A State Department review into the 2021 U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan has revealed the need for thorough planning for worst-case scenarios, strengthening crisis management abilities, and considering a broad range of viewpoints. The report doesn't point blame but outlines the chaotic events, including the Afghan government's rapid collapse and a large-scale rescue effort for U.S. citizens and Afghan allies. The U.S. Supreme Court's ruling against race-conscious admissions may prompt corporations to alter their diversity policies. Companies risk heightened litigation, leading some to reconsider their diversity programs. However, the ruling doesn't legally prevent employers' efforts to foster workplace diversity. An increase in fatal police shootings during traffic stops in France is stirring controversy and protest. A 2017 law, passed as a counterterrorism measure, allowed officers to open fire on fleeing drivers, escalating such incidents sixfold. It recently led to the death of a teen driver, igniting calls for repeal or revision of the law. Police blame inadequate training for the surge in incidents. In the heavily bombarded town of Avdivka in southeastern Ukraine, surviving residents dig in amidst ongoing Russian assaults. Despite the devastation, dwindling population, and no electricity or regular food supply, these locals remain staunch, largely surviving with volunteer aid and displaying immense resilience. The Supreme Court has invalidated President Biden's initiative to cancel $400 billion in student debt for 40 million Americans, declaring Congress must approve such an extensive plan. The ruling further resulted in the payment resumption of student loans by the summer's end, following a pandemic-induced pause. In 2023, U.S. investors are showing increased optimism concerning the economy's resilience. Despite past concerns about high inflation, treasury yields, and interest rates, data displays encouraging stability. The market has even seen growth, with the S&P 500 rising about 14% in the first half of 2023. However, companies are maintaining caution, as future economic challenges remain a concern. A heat wave blanketing the southern United States and moving west is causing record-breaking temperatures, straining resources, and prompting warnings about heat stroke with oppressive temperatures that will persist through the end of the week. As the heat moves westward, arid heat will raise temperatures above average levels, creating potentially dangerous conditions. Violent protests have erupted across France following the fatal shooting of an unarmed French Algerian teenager by a police officer. This event has highlighted alleged racial discrimination within the French law enforcement, sparking civil unrest. Despite the officer's arrest on charges of voluntary homicide, demonstrations continue to escalate, causing significant damage and injuries. Tensions escalate in France following the police shooting of a 17-year-old teenager of Algerian Moroccan descent, Nahal M. His death has incited violent protests, leading to widespread destruction and over 800 arrests. The incident amplifies concerns over alleged racism, sparking further disconnect within society amidst differing allegiances. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to get your daily dose of news.